I spend my working life meeting with internally displaced people around the world, and the IDPs I meet have been typically displaced for 10, 15 years. For children in particular, of course, all of this is magnified. Displaced ch children can miss their education, uh, they can be living in camps, very vulnerable situations. They lose the protection of these community structures that often look out for children in their homes. Well, displacement is being driven by different factors, a, a variety of, of factors. The big one uh, is typically violence and conflict, people being driven by wars. But more and more disasters, and that's climate-related, weather-related disasters are, are, are pushing people uh, uh, to flee uh, also for safety. We're seeing that uh, in floods, we're seeing that with droughts, what we call slow onset disasters that don't happen overnight. A lot of my work today, I've been tasked, is really to work with governments to figure out how can we better support them in moving uh, displaced families out of protracted displacement breaking this cycle of being in limbo, if you will. And it's something we're still learning how to do, frankly, because our toolkit up till today has been almost exclusively a kind of short-term humanitarian or emergency response. Bringing children into this process, of course, is, is absolutely critical. There are a lot of voices that need to be heard. Children have paid a very high price for the displacement. Uh, they have to be heard in terms of looking at the future and what their ambitions and dreams are without hearing those voices is just simply not legitimate and it's not sustainable.